Well, speaking of big, before I let you go, I wanted to get your opinion. Recently, there's been some uh, social media posts showing Anthony Joshua and showing appearing to seem to look significantly thinner. And I wanted to get your thoughts on that because I saw some videos myself and uh, he does look thinner. But he looked huge against Ruiz. I mean, he looked like he was lifting a ton of weights. And obviously, against Ruiz, he didn't look very good. But uh, curious to get your thoughts on that and um, what to expect in that rematch. Well, you know, it's a funny thing. As far as his size, the difference in size, the first thing people start saying is he's not on PEDs anymore. But mm -hmm. you can't really say that because they've been tested. Mm -hmm. Joshua has been tested. Um, matter of fact, the reason Baby Miller lost out on a payday, he'd get another one because there's a market for heavyweight, you know, for heavyweight opponents. Any now. other sport, you'd be run out of town. No, no, really, it's the truth. I mean, baseball, you'd be done for life. Football, you'd be done. I mean, hey, because there's national commissions. There's real commissions. Yeah. There's there's real law enforcement. There's real enforcement. Especially I mean, for his infraction, he didn't even have an argument against taking and, and, and supplements or meat. It's one thing to meat. put stuff in your veins and you're hitting baseballs farther. You're punching someone in the head. That's a serious infraction. Yep. Anyway, a lot of people would say, oh, it must have been he stopped taking. He stopped taking PDs. No, because like I started to say, he was tested and he was originally before he fought Ruiz and mm -hmm. lost. He was supposed to fight Miller. Yep. And Miller lost the fight because he did test positive for but, everything yeah for uh, everything i mean if you put the lights out it, you he would have glowed <laughs> and so he <laughs> so he tested pot so so we know they were being tested yep. ap appropriately so it's not peds but maybe he got off the weight program uh intense weight program because i'm going to say something that a lot of people said and some of it's the taboo stuff the old time trainers and people in boxing used to always think that weights and boxing never mixed. That you got too muscle bound. Mm -hmm. That that a fighter shouldn't have should have more subtle muscles. Shouldn't shouldn't have those bulky muscles because it takes away something from them. The fluidity to throw in punches and to being able to do the things that a top fighter needs to more do. More like functional strength versus aesthetic exactly. muscles. Exactly and exactly. And so a lot of people were against it was a taboo thing. There was a reason the old time trainers were smarter than a lot of the guys have because they have more experience. Mm -hmm. A lot of guys today they just put a towel in I'm a trainer really <laughs> really did, did you realize that that towel says Holiday Inn <laughs> you stole the towel didn't you you stole he, the he freaking, stayed at a you, Holiday Inn last night you stole the towel and now you want to be a trainer <laughs> go get your own towel <laughs> so uh, my sport is screwed up in a lot of ways but anyway you have some good trainers but back in the old days you had guys that only got there because they really served an apprenticeship mm -hmm. they earned their way there as a trainer and not as much today in some cases so you those guys never believed in heavy weight lifting you know you could do different nowadays you could do it in a lot of different ways yeah but they never believed in they thought it took away something for the fight it was mm -hmm. a taboo thing so to that point a lot of people felt that when he lost to Ruiz said he's too muscle bound. You know that's part of his problem. So when you lose a fight like that, you start you start looking under everywhere. Mm -hmm. you, you know what I mean? You start looking in your closet at shadows. Mm -hmm. You start looking everywhere to see. You start picking up the rug. Is there some under the rug? Mm -hmm. uh, you, you're looking for everything. It gets a little crazy. So maybe they're looking. Maybe part of it is they. And I'm sure it might be that they thought he was too muscular, and now all of a sudden they want to make a change in their weight program. In their, you know, in their training program regimen, so that might be part of it because he does look. One of the videos I saw, it did look a little different. Mm -hmm. So that that could be part of it, um, but I think a big part of it is that the mental part, the the mental part. You got to come up with an answer. You got to do something to satisfy the guy that this next time I'm going to be different because he's not having a tune up, yeah. a confidence builder. So there's got to be something there that says. Hey, things are going to be there. And this might be that something mm -hmm. to, to give him something. He needs something. Just like if you're walking across the desert, you need a glass of water. He needs a glass of water. And that glass of water is mental belief, something that tells him something's going to be different, that, that it's not going to be the same. So, and I do think the mental part is, is maybe everything because I, I thought he submitted in that fight. Mm -hmm. And, and a lot of people did. And, 
I don't think he would have done that at an earlier point where he might not have done it at home. That wasn't in London, that fight. Right. He might not have done it in front of his fans. I know that a lot of people are going to say that sounds strange. But in front of witnesses, his own home people that he has to live with, he might not have. But he definitely might not have had done that $40 million earlier. <laughs> yeah. you, you know what I mean? Yeah. So he's got to come to terms with that. Do I still want to behave like a fighter? Is it still the most important thing? More important than pain? Is it more important than getting hurt? More important than fear? More important that, that I need to be a champion again? He, he needs to reconcile that. That's where it starts. Yeah, that's uh, a good when, point. And that's where it starts, whether you call it a psychiatrist, a psychologist, or a good trainer. Because good trainers are psychologists and psychiatrists. Because that's their turf. They it definitely doesn't have to win for money. And, and they have to have that. But I'll finish with this. When you lose a fight, it's awful funny how everybody attacks. All the bows and arrows come out. And I know that. You know, I got a couple of holes in my back <laughs> over here. You know, I covered it. You know, I covered it up to, uh, yeah. where you're not going to see it. And that's where I'm wearing a red shirt. So you don't see if some of the blood <laughs> leaks through. You, you won't see it. Yeah. Okay? I got it. It's part of the turf. It's all right. You know, whoop, there goes another. Pull. <laughs> you, I know you'll pull them out for me. <laughs> yeah, of course. I know you will. But... So it's funny that this McCracken, who's done a good job, I think that's the trainer of yep. Joshua, done a good job with him, and now all of a sudden everyone's attacking everything that because he lost one fight. Mm -hmm. You know, he's a gold medalist in Olympics. It's funny how that stuff works. And and look, there's got to there were things wrong. There's got to be something, but nobody was complaining. The same fighter, right, with the muscles, got hit got dropped against Klitschko and he got his backside up and behaved like a champion and he kept that belt against Klitschko, Klitschko in London before he made all these millions of dollars. Yep. You know, it was on his way up. Nobody complained about that. Nobody said you got to get rid of McCracken. Nobody said you got to do this. Nobody got, said you got to get off the weight program. Nobody said nothing, right? Right? I'm not saying there's not a need for some changes. I'm not. I said there is. Mm -hmm. But I'm just saying, isn't it funny how this stuff works? Nobody said, boy, they love a winner, don't they, babe? <laughs> Nobody said nothing then because he got up and he behaved like and he made everything right. Mm -hmm. And that's what was missing the most against Ruiz. Yeah, he stood up too straight. Yeah, all that stuff. But he didn't behave the way he did against Klitschko. That was the big difference. Yep. And that's what was missing. And that's what he's got to find.